Five million damage. One shot. Two-handed protection combo. Five. The reason I said five is because at 5k views. Okay, so he just dive bombs on him. And wait, the guy, I didn't even see him die. He just died. What the fuck was that? So it has to do with his current health. Oh my god. How the fuck does that work? So he has to be at low health. He's, he's gonna kill this guy out of the air, isn't he? Wait! What the fuck was that? Oh my god! This is insane. Wait. Like, I wonder if he can do this in arena. No, dude. No, dude. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Jesus, dude! This is insane! He's 1v1ing this guy, and then he just... Then he's dead. Never dies QT. Please kill him. That obnoxious name. Kill that idiot with the obnoxious name. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Never dies QT. He doesn't even know, dude. He doesn't know. <laughs> Imagine being that rogue, man. You know what that rogue's doing right now? He's buying a boost to fucking boost up a prop paladin. He's like, you know what? I don't know what the hell that dude just did, but whatever it is, I gotta do it too. Like, yeah, that's the first fucking thing that guy's gonna do, man. Okay. Here we go. Hero of the Horde. What the fuck? I know what he's doing. He's using a Blade of Shielding Azrite trait to reduce his health, to proc his health, while at the same time using Shalaz Ghoul, the axe from Mount, at 30 stacks, and then with the Ablative of Shielding proc, which is why he goes down to that low health percentage, and then hitting them while he's at 30 stacks to proc and immediately after. That's really good, dude. That is really good, dude. So see, he has a proc of a weight of shielding. He's got three seconds left. Boom. Right there. Holy shit. So see, he gets the proc right there. And then he just kills him. Because the shall has ghoul, whatever. Ooh. I like how he's putting down healing rain. Yo, it's alright, I'll beat him. I'll put down a healing rain. Oh no. Do you guys want to also know a really funny part about these clips? Is that in so many of them, it shows his armor durability for whenever he misjudged how far down he'd have to jump. And he fell to his death and killed himself. That's why his armor durability is at yellow. Just, you know. You know, we know what we know what you're doing. It worked? Yeah, I see that. Holy shit, man. He did the thing. See, he has 30 stacks of that uh, intimidating shout buff. There it is, and it does so much damage 
It doesn't even show up on the fucking screen. How much did it hit him for? Your Obsidian Destruction hit him for 365k plus 160,000 overkill. So that is what? Uh, 520,000? Holy, no, 620,000. 625,000 damage. With the spine eruption, too. Holy shit. Five hundred thousand. Oh my god, dude. Oh my fucking god. It's like you don't even see their health go down. They just don't exist anymore. They just they just stop existing. Oh, and he's I using know, a potion. As you saw, this combo is just hilarious. It's probably yeah. the most fun combo I've done by far. Yeah. It's however quite complicated. Okay. So let's go through the steps one by one. Okay, the first thing you have to do is to get Skull Vast. It's yep. an extra mount, and it does 700% of your armor as shadow damage right. once it reaches 30 stacks. The stacks will only be gained in combat, and they will pause outside. For the one shots. I pause it around 28 to 30 before entering combat with the one I want to one shot. Now we need yep. to get the damage up. Sadly, we can't use Shield Right Use, however, we can still use other sources of armor increase. The most important one by far is Astro's Undying Gift. It adds a lot of armor when you drop below 35% health. Yep. Then we have yep. a Platinum Shielding, which yep. adds a tiny bit of armor. It I knew it. When you drop below 40% health, and that includes fall damage. We had a dress again trinket. It's not a must. You can maybe use a. So I, I'm curious. One thing I'm curious about is that d can this, if it hits two targets, does it split its damage like Drestagath, or does it apply this damage to every single person? Because if it split, does it split its damage or not? It split. Man, fuck Blizzard, dude. Fuck Blizzard and their bullshit, dude. I'm so sick of Blizzard, dude. Man, fuck Blizzard. Dalian instead for extra versatility if you want to uh -huh. do your school was proc well bigger uh, we also had a major essence vigilant protector it's used along with the desigat trinket right before the school was procs where wait right. what what is what does vigilant protector do let me go ahead and look at it again uh oh it just okay it just makes him take more damage right protector it's used along with the desigat trinket right before the school was procs for a huge amount of damage here's the macro and you press it twice before one shotting if you press it once, you'll use Vigilant Protector. And He's also again, using an armor potion, I think, right? I also add an armor potion yeah. to give him a small edge. Okay, so falling will not proc Astro's Undying Gift. You need to take other damage to proc it. And the easy way to do this was to travel to our old friend, Blackrock Depths. Here we can buy some Sultron Slammer, and this will put a dot on you that takes every 3 seconds after you use it. It is enough damage, well, it it doesn't actually show in the comment log for me, but it will proc Undying Gift. Okay, so let me show you the combo. Oh my god. You start in the air, That's you so start smart. Him, as well as Sulfron Slammer. The moment you land, you'll be at low health, or dead if you fail with the landing. Then you should get the Sulfron Slammer damaging you and procking your armor. So you just you'll got a Blade of Shield. Stacks, just as you enter combat when you use Vigilant Protector. And then you use the macro again to use Dressagat at the same time as Obsidian Destruction procs. And it will completely obliterate enemy. Oh, and one important thing. Jesus. The damage is split, like most other items. Okay. I That's what I was curious about. I guess these are all early about. indicators of the way Blizzard are going with limiting AoE spells in Shadowlands. Oh, and by the way, be careful with the fall damage so this doesn't happen. See, what I tell you guys? What did Thanks I tell you guys, man? And stay tuned for more content. The, wait, the guy's name is Cripple Kid, and he's a mecha gnome. Oh, no. Um, okay, so this was obviously really, really clever, okay, like, I, I really like this a lot, it's fucking hilarious, and I, I'm, I'm glad that they, that he's doing things like this, one shot sensei, what is this here, enemies will appear to be lower itemable than they actually are because of drunk effect, seraphim's visual appears as, oh, right, oh, so that's why the enemies were lower level, here before Asmongold watches this, waiting for Asmongold to react. 
Uh, level went from 120 to 117, then he gained a level whenever he died. Holy shit, man. Yeah, Golden Kappa. Wow. Um, okay, let's see. MB4 Asmongold reacts to this one, smiley face. Can warriors do this? They know me too well. They know me too well. Yeah, I, uh... I... Yeah, I, I want to know that. I don't know if I can, though. I haven't played since Mario Trilling Legend. Yeah, this video is fucking amazing. Like, I, I do want to say that right now. Like, this is actually a really, really, really good video. Uh, like, I, I'd like to see... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'd like to see more stuff like this. I think this is what the, uh... This is what the game is all about. You know what I mean? You need a shitload of verse. Okay, I will like the video, all right, guys? I will like the video. And I'll link it in chat, too, so you guys get an idea. Yeah, there it is. I will actually like the video. I very rarely like videos, but you know what? This time, uh, I, I will go ahead and do it.